Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. And what are we carving today, Rob? We're carving a snowman magnet. A snowman magnet. And we're working off the corner of a piece of one and a half by one and a half by four inch long piece of ass wood. Yep, that's what we're doing. We're carving a snowman magnet for the refrigerator. All right. So, uh... I already took a hat and roughly, roughly, roughly cut it out on the bandsaw. And we're using the cut saw Extreme Flame Burr with a Dremel 4000 and the Flex Shaft. Dremel 4000 with the Flex Shaft, also using the cut saw Extreme Flame Burr. All right. All right. All right, Spike. All right. So we're rounding over the hat. Getting everything uh, rounded over and shaped over. I like doing this on the corner because then I can put it on the big, let the nose stick way out. Let that nose stick way out there. We're running at three times the normal speed in uh, case you're interested. And we're doing, uh, we're going to do some rounding over here. We're going to be carving some wood spirits. Uh, Got to get my wood spirit faces down. Uh, I got a project uh, where I got to carve four of them for a clock face. And before I go hacking into this big piece of walnut, I want to uh, get the muscle memory down for carving wood spirit faces. Because we don't carve a lot of wood spirit faces. We usually leave that up to our friend Jordy Johnson at Carving Fusion. The master of disaster, the king of the wood spirits. Uh, but since Jordy's not here... I guess I'll have to do it. I'll have to carve my own wood spirit faces. So, we're still rounding over the bottom of the chin, as you can see, with the cut saw, extreme flame burr, and the Dremel 4000. And uh, I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I will hope everybody's doing well. I hope uh, the COVID is keep staying away from you. The new Omicron variant. Uh, how many more variants of this could they possibly have? We've got the uh, Delta variant. We've got the normal COVID variant. Now we've got the Omicron variant. You know, uh, I guess they can go to Alpha, Omega, Charlie, Foxtrot. They still got a lot of different uh, military style uh, stuff they can whip on to Omicron. Whoever came up with Omicron sounds like something off from an old uh, Transformers movie. The Omicron. Omicron has come from outer space. Omicron. Okay. So now we're using the Master Car. Pro Micro Motor Micro Motor with the uh, cut saw coarse silver coarse up oh, that wasn't very long. Now we've gone to a needle point diamond. You can buy these on Amazon in a set of ten. They got all different shapes. Just uh, they're cheap. They don't last very long, but they do what I need them to do while I need them to do it, and then I have to order more. So we're just flattening everything out, uh, putting some undercuts in. Okay, that's out of here. Get out of here. There goes the diamond. Here comes the cuts all course again. The silver is the course. A course of a course, a course, a course. Yep. We're using the course, getting everything smoothed around. Still shaping that hat. I want to give it a make it bigger at the top than at the bottom so it's uh like uh one of them old style stovepipe hats i think they used to call them a lot of the uh steampunk people like put decorate them and use them for different fancy art things okay so see we're just we got that course you can tell i really use the end of these burrs can't you Look how burnt up that thing is. I've got like three of these guys and they are all in the same sad shape. 
Um, you can see where it did a little burn job there. Okay, we're going to pull that one out. Now we're going to the Ruby Burr. Ruby Burr. Ruby Burr smooths everything out. Does a really nice job of it. Saves on the sandpaper. Get these from Mountain Wood Carvers. Dot com, not affiliated. But um, the only thing is, is I can only find these with the 30, 132 or sorry, the 32nd uh, shank on them, 330 seconds. So uh, if you got a Dremel with a 1 8 inch shank, these that takes your 1 8, one eighth inch uh, like extreme burrs, these will not fit in it. They're too small. You would have to get, and they do make them for Dremel the 332nd collet to put into your Dremel. Um, so, like Ben over there at Studio on the Lake, he has one of his uh, microcarvers set up with a 332nd collet and one of them set up with a 1 8 inch collet and he just switches back and forth. This unit I have comes with a slip-in 332nd collet which means it slips right into the eighth inch. Uh, so it works good. Okay, so now we're back. I pulled the 330 seconds collet out of there, and I have put the silver coarse burr back in, taper burr. It's a silver coarse taper burr we're using here. And we're getting the eye bed set in. I'm trying to get the eye bed set in. And, of course, I will end up going to my knife to uh, flatten them out. I just can't seem to uh, get it. I can get it mostly done with this, but it always leaves that radius in the bottom because that's what rotary tools do. So uh, I'll end up taking my knife and flattening them eye beds out. We're giving this guy some cartoony type eyes here. Yep. See, I got it mostly, mostly done with this. But to uh, get them nice and flat so that when I uh, paint the eyes on... I don't have to work around corners and it makes it can make it look off if you don't have them both exactly the same roundness. So now we're working on the nose with a little bit. Get that all taken care of. See our buddy Jordy over there at Carbon Fusions taking a couple of days off. He's gonna practice carving skulls to get them nailed down. Wants to do some uh, carving of skulls. Man, it looks like everybody and their brother has got a snowplow on their truck right now. Uh, we were supposed to have a big snowstorm this past weekend, and I think we ended up with an inch. Maybe close to an inch. And uh, But they're forecasting more snow for uh, later on this week. So, I got my plow truck in the garage, just sitting there waiting. It's got its tongue hanging out, waiting to lick up some snow off the ground. I'm like, no, if we don't got a plow, we're not going to plow it. That's what Just Car Rob says. I'd rather be carving than plowing snow. Uh, the thing about plowing snow is it's snow. It's cold, right? Who wants to be cold? All right, so we have changed over to our taper. Gold. Taper burr. Cuts all. Gold. That means this is the original fine taper burr. It's mighty fine. And we're working that nose around and around. You know, it's like that rat song. Round and round. What comes around goes around. Keep your fingers out of the way so you don't grind them down. Round and round. <laughs> oh, you can see the nose on this guy's burn up too. I got to get a new one. Got to save up my pennies. Got to save up my pennies. Got to take my cans back here in Michigan. We got a 10 cent deposit on soda cans. So uh, I drive the back roads where I know the drunks drive the back roads. And I follow behind them and I pick up all their beer cans. And then I turn them in for carving burrs. Carving burrs. 10 cans a dollar. It's uh, 10 cents a can. So that's 10 cans for a dollar. So I gotta I gotta pick up like uh, 1,500 cans to get a carving burr. Yep, 1,500 cans to get a carving burr, which is, uh, around where I live, uh, that might take a week. <laughs> I 
get a lot of uh, booth cruisers over my way. I live way out in the sticks, and they don't think the cops are out there, so they just run, drive around and drink their beer and toss the cans out the window. And then I go behind them with my truck, picking them up, throwing them in the back, cleaning the roads. You know, we got to keep our keep our area where I live uh, nice and can free. Uh, yep, got to pick up the cans, <laughs> bottles too. A lot of people out here like those long necks. Uh, and uh, with with a little bit of snow we got, man, some of them things can really slide into the woods quite deep. So you got to put on your snowshoes and go out there and get them. Well, snow isn't that deep right now. I don't need snowshoes yet. I got to teach a shop inspector to retrieve beer bottles. So I don't got to get out of the truck. I just let her go around and collect them and drop them off at the edge of the road for me. There's the knife. We're uh, flattening them out. Getting those eyes flattened out. Where our eyes are going to go. Get them eye beds flattened out. And then we're going to go to... Uh, we'll cut the eyes in using the micro motor with that uh, engraving bit. It's a little tiny football uh, high-speed steel. Uh, right now we got the uh, we got a little diamond ball in there from that same kit with that needle diamond that I showed you guys. Got that little diamond ball, and we're just using him uh, like a pencil, just kind of uh, scribbling away all the rough spots, right? Taking off all the hard edges, making everything round and smooth. Like a snowman would have. Because he's made of snow. And he's melting. Help me, I'm melting. Don't throw water on your snowman. It'll turn into an ice man. It'll make him sickle. Get it? Sickle. Ice sickle. Make him sickle if you get him wet. Okay. So, terrible dad joke. Get that all shaped up. Okay, now we're changing it out. And we have got our pencil. We're going to draw in the smile lines because we got a happy snowman. It's happy, happy, happy. It's happy because it's wintertime and it's cold. And he exists because it's cold. Uh, you can, I guess you could always put him in the freezer and save him for next uh, winter. Okay. So we've got that, uh, that, diamond, that needle diamond in there again. And we're cutting in the smile lines on his face. Cutting them in. And now we're cutting his actual smile in. And we'll work that over. We'll get uh, put some lips on him. Like snowman's got lips, right? And then uh, we'll take the that ball burr. And we're going to cut in the icicle snot trough here. Yep, right there. We're going to cut it in. A little uh, snot trough. And see, we're using that ball burr to uh, take the edge off where we just carved the lips. And it also rounds it over to give it lips. Okay? And we'll uh, go over it. We're there again using that ball burr to kind of smooth everything off. And, uh, yep, that's what we're doing. We're smoothing it all off. Now, if you put a regular nose on this guy, you could have like um, you can make like a magician or a hobo or whatever you wanted to out of him. If you cut the nose in differently, this basic uh, basic shapes that we're using here, or if you just wanted to make him more of a cartoon guy, there's that ruby burr again. We're getting in there and smoothing it all out. Uh, you could even leave them have a pointy nose, I guess, or just round the end of the nose off. But we're not doing that. We're making a snowman, not a magician. Magician. Yep. These, uh, ruby birds. I really like the ruby birds. They, uh, they save me a lot of sand in time. And nice thing with these is you can shape as you're sanding. Uh... It's kind of like uh, the difference between using a, a flapper sander would be more like a shotgun. You're just hitting it everywhere. This would be more like the sniper rifle in the arsenal where you can actually just target where you want to put it and get it all sanded off and rounded over. So um, 
guess we'll do a couple quick shout outs here. We're uh, winding down our time. Got a couple minutes left, so we'll say hi to Claire and uh, Gypsy Rose. Tammy, told you I'd give you a shout out. Uh, Jack's Old Plantation, Michael, all you guys, all you subscribers, uh, Kevin. Wouldn't be here without you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos, and I hope you're having a good new year. We're into the new year now, yep. Uh, Glenn McKelvey and uh, Mark D. Maker, Matt Carves, Uncle Kevin Carves, Ryan Cook Carving, Jordy at Carving Fusion, Rock of Ages USA, NorCal Succulents, Eddie over there, Sean Brooks, Dan Carpio, C-A-R-P-I-O. Go check him out. Dan Carpio, Doug Linker, Michael, uh, Mike Stinnett. Yep. Gene Messer, Godfather of Flat Plains Carving. Go check out Gene's channel. Okay, so we got some of these little tiny drill bits. You get them at Harbor Freight. These are not carving birds. They are drill bits, but they are carbide. And the, red, the very ends of them are very sharp. So I like using the very ends of them to, uh, you know, dig it out. Because the very ends are good cutters. But don't try shaping with these. You'll just break them. Don't try using the sides of them. Just the very tip of them is what we're using here. Just to uh, cut the uh, lines in a little bit deeper. And uh, make it stand out. So that's it for this one, guys. Share, subscribe, like. Cleve's Backyard Woodworking. Thought I, thought I forgot about you, didn't you, Cleve? Cleve's Backyard Woodworking. Make sure you check out Cleve. And, uh, yep, so we're running out of time. And uh, share, subscribe, like. Guys, get out. Get out in the shop. Carve something awesome. Do it. Get it done. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. And we'll catch you on the next one. All right. All right. Oh, we can say hi. There's my new knife my friend gave me uh, at Christmas time there. That's, uh, I got to keep, I got to get it sharp. But we're going to keep that right on our bench for sharpening pencils and things like that. And that kind of stuff. And we'll say hi to Anna. And uh, Liz, and all you great subscribers, Old Plantation, all you guys out there, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the channel. Bye-bye.